Good morning, folks. Today I'm working on my Millermatic 150 welding machine, MIG welder. I bought this years ago, paid about $1,300 for it, if I remember right. And it finally started to give me some trouble. And what it was doing, or what it is doing, I don't know if you can see that, but after you get done welding something, it would feed about that much wire out of the uh, unit. And every time you'd have to restart your weld, you'd have to cut, cut this and um, start again. And as soon as you release the trigger, it would feed about six inches of wire out and um, started to become a real pain in the butt. Anyway, uh, looking on the internet, I couldn't really find any definitive answers on what it might be. Although I know I'm not the only one that's had this trouble. And uh, what it boils down to is it can only be two things. And basically this motor right here is what keeps turning uh, until it stops to feed that extra wire out. You have a PC board and you have a relay. I've already taken the relay out, removed the cover, and burnished the contacts. That was the first step uh, tech support told me to do. Um, and if it's not that, it's likely the board. Well, come to find out, the board is no longer available, but there's a company back east or somewhere that actually will repair them. So not all is lost if uh, it ends up being the board. This relay is just mounted in here, slides in, and for whatever reason, they used a rivet to uh, put it in right there. Why they did that, I have no idea. It needed to really be a nut, a screw and a nut. But regardless, um, I did take the cover off, burnished it, and... Uh, Hopefully that'll do it. Keep in mind, this is a standard relay that you can buy just about any place that sells relays. Miller wants the best part of $70 for this relay after it's delivered. Ridiculous price. Just a simple relay. So if you end up having to replace this relay, uh, shop around a little bit if you don't want to pay the high price that Miller charges. You can probably pick them up at Granger or, or anywhere else that sells relays. So let's fire this baby up. I'm going to clip this wire so I can see if it stops or not. That's normally what you have to do to it. So let's see if I release the trigger, if it stops immediately. And it does. Awesome. So all I had to do to fix this thing was clean the contacts on that relay. So there you go, folks. There's one fix for the Millers. I know other Miller models have this same exact problem. And uh, maybe this will help you uh, figure it out. Not too hard to take apart. Took me about five minutes and uh, just a bunch of quarter inch head screws. And uh, I'm good to go again until that relay gets dirty again. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.